Welcome back. Today we've got 3D printed gummies with actual nutritional value, Mark Force going on tour, and more interest in peak polyether ether ketone from the entire 3D printing industry. So let's get right into it. 3D printing and food has taken a new form through 3D printable supplements. Nourished is a startup making completely custom nutritional supplements that are 3D printed. The process is actually pretty simple. You just fill out a short questionnaire describing your lifestyle, health issues, and nutritional goals, and their algorithm builds you your own stack from 28 different nourishments. And you can also create a custom stack if you already know exactly what you want. So, Awesome, a new supplement company and 3D printing, which is cool, but why? The company's head of brand, Caitlin Stanley, says that manufacturing supplements via 3D printing opens up a whole new world of personalization possibilities. Typically, active ingredients that show up in vitamins like ashwagandha or vitamin A interfere with each other when combined into the same capsule. However, by printing these ingredients on top of each other, Nourish can fuse them into the same bite-sized supplement. Nourish launched back in 2019 and has since expanded into kids' vitamins and pre-configured stacks. And currently, there's an offer to get 25% off your first two boxes. Now, each box comes with 28 stacks that are meant to be consumed once a day. At $51 per month, they're pretty competitive with other personalized vitamin services like Care Of. Uh, and the vitamins are made from a vegan gel that are delivered on a monthly subscription plan. If you want to learn more about 3D printed food, we do have an entire video talking about the state of the industry, how it all works, and some of the most prominent solutions out there on the market right now, which we've linked in the description below. So what do you think about 3D printed vitamins or 3D printed food in general? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And next we've got everyone's favorite composite printing companies going on tour. That's right, Mark Forge is coming to 38 cities across the country to talk to you guys about additive manufacturing. They call it the Forge Tour, and they'll be bringing their staff and printers to local breweries and hotspots to meet additive engineers across the U.S. Now, the goal of this tour is to show how the company aims to transform manufacturing through additive with metal and continuous carbon fiber printer systems capable of producing parts for the factory floor, uh, mostly in the jigs and fixtures realm, which we do a ton of here at Vision Miner. Now, participants will get to learn more and ask questions about their proprietary print software, Blacksmith, and they're partnering with local partners across the U.S. from Philips, Access Manufacturing Systems, MLC CAD, and Camelogic to bring the Forge Tour to 22 locations in the East Coast and nine in the Central U.S. AWP, Enigtype, and Saratech will partner up for the seven additional stops on the West Coast. You might even be able to catch me and the team there at the Southern California stop because it sounds pretty cool and who doesn't like a brew with some 3D printers? So what do you think about the Forge Tour? What companies would you like to see go on tour? Leave it in the comment section down below. And if you're liking this video, please hit that like button. It really helps us know we're doing good content that you enjoy. And hit that subscribe if you want to see more like it. Now, moving right along, we've got more companies seeing the value in peak polyether ether ketone, high performance thermoplastics in 3D printing. 3D printing manufacturer Zortrax has recently launched a new Space grade Z peak filament focused on the aerospace use cases. Now, this peak based material offers a blend of impressive radiation, temperature, and abrasion resistances, which is what we see across many peak filaments on the market and other similar high temp materials. Now, various global space agencies have already used the material with the goal of using it in space missions, testing Z peak in thermal vacuum tests and long exposure tests. Now, applications include mostly out-of-cabin aircraft components and other high-performance parts. The head of R&D over at Zortrax states that the capability to 3D print with this material is a game-changer for any enterprise willing to build cost-effective, affordable spacecraft and for large space agencies seeking to bring down the cost of space exploration activities. Now, taking a look at Z-Peak's spec sheet, we see a tensile strength of around 100 megapascals, elongation at break around 28%, and flexural strength of 130 megapascals. The peak is naturally resistant to radiation, extreme temperatures, and long-term abrasion. Now, Zortrax claims that their new material can operate between 250 Celsius and negative 100 Celsius and survive over 22 million cycles in a peak-to-steel gear pair running at 1600 RPM. 
Gearbox is another great use case for the stuff as it's also naturally slippery, minimizing friction with wear properties comparable to titanium. Now he also adds that Z-Peak can also find applications in the oil industry, aerospace, nuclear energy, and numerous other high-tech fields. With excellent thermal properties, resistance to radiation, and strength to weight ratios comparable to stainless steel, Z-Peak redefines the boundaries of what polymer extrusion-based 3D printers can do. Now if you're interested in high temperature materials like Peak and Ultim, this is all we've been doing for the last four years, so definitely hit us up or give us a call. We've got a lot of options. We have loads of experience FDM 3D printing this stuff and we can help you find the right solution for your needs. Also, if you guys enjoy this content, please hit that like button. It really makes us feel great and subscribe if you want more content like this. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.